Good late afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live for May 1st, 2014. On this beautiful May Day, we're honored to have with us Nathaniel Rateliff. Nathaniel Rateliff on Audio Tree Live. First of all, thanks you guys for coming out and playing for us on this rainy day. Oh, it's our pleasure. Mm -hmm. Can we talk quickly about, while you set up and get your guitar going, when you're writing, Nathaniel, and getting into different projects, especially with that kind of doo-woppy thing that you were doing with uh, the Night Sweats uh, yeah. last year, how does, 
your performing style or your writing style change when you're entering into some, like a different musical world like that? Um, or does it, I guess? I've been trying to write with the same content, even though the music's different. Um, and I just, you know, sometimes one type of music comes and sometimes the other type comes. It's sure. kind of hard to separate the two. So. And then focusing still on <clears throat> using the same style regardless of what instruments are being used, I guess. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I feel like the song kind of brings itself to you and then... Um, and sometimes I decide to, I was like, well, the words from this could go this way and be a honky-tonk song. Okay. We could make it this way, so. Do you have to focus that then when you're doing, like, your own work? Uh, do you, mm, what am I trying to ask? Do you, like, put those away into a different, like, okay, so this actually should be a honky-tonk song or this should be a yeah. folkier song, and then when that comes up, you then use them? Or it's, I just get hung up on the idea that that song should be a certain way. Okay, and then I just stick to it. So cool. Just gotta stick. Commit sometimes. Just yeah. Commit to it. <laughs> yeah, to it being that way, and then letting the song speak for itself, like you said. Sweet. Yeah. You guys can go into your next song. All right. Let it burn the woods Remember the stars that start the wind And torch the field Stomped in the grass and the cracks And the crust to no avail well, Now get burned if the wind takes more Than it should And eh, it's a crazy
Audio Tree Live with Nathaniel Rateliff. I'm from a small town in Iowa, like 5,000 people. And on May Day, we used to do this thing where we make baskets and put it on the doorstep and knock and run away. Do you know of this no. tradition? I was wondering if you did a thing, because you're from a small town in Missouri, is Correct. that true? Uh, did, did you have any like dumb small town traditions that you guys did like that or any? We had my fest. Yeah. Okay. Which was With like beer? A, uh, in like, yeah, beer garden, okay. sausages. So. Cheese. The worst, worst. Cheese. We were not a lot of porta worst. potties over. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a German thing, I assume. Then. I don't know if they actually do it in Germany, but they did it but in But they do it here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did They're you like, say knock some? I was like, really? I don't think you are. <laughs> I don't. Th- did you say that you knocked porta potties over? You mean just to cause trouble? We got busted knocking over porta potties by security guards in our hometown that mm-hmm. pointed giant pistols at us and then called the cops. That one guy had an assault rifle. Yeah. For were sure. you were you small ish? Well, last we year. were like it was last year. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we were like I was like Two seventeen or eighteen, and Joe was sixteen, probably okay. or seventeen, or maybe I was seventeen and you were sixteen. I was smoking already. Okay, so but that's that a good matter, but that doesn't matter because yeah. it's Missouri. Yeah, well, I remember I worked at a grocery store, and I would always sell. I was like a clerk. Sure. And I was like seventh, eighth grade, and this kid would come in, and I'd always sell him smokes, and my boss was like. Is he 18? I was like, no. He's like, uh, you have to be 18 to buy cigarettes. I was like, oh, well, I've been selling cigarettes for months. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> so so clearly that the security. guy probably died of cancer. Yeah. Because I contributed to his poor lung health. Smoking at yeah. 15, yeah. And that's why the camel guy can't be like a cartoon anymore or whatever. Because right. kids, you don't want kids to smoke. Because kids love smoking. Yeah. But yeah. Don't smoke kids. Don't smoke. Don't smoke kids. You guys can go into your next song. Okay. This one's not about smoking, but... All we been round, all angry and trying Well, it's how much can you yell Filled in ways. So 
with Nathaniel Rateliff. Before you guys, you guys can get ready to go on your next song, I just have a question for Jenna. Do you prefer one bass over the other? Or do they um, both? I'm actually a cellist. A cellist? <laughs> yep. Beautiful. <laughs> That's, I've never, ever considered myself a bass player. Okay. I actually haven't played a lot of bass. Yeah. Un- they just until put you in that spot. a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah, well, our first tour... <laughs> She was playing cello and baritone guitar. Okay. Which I think I was worse at, actually. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I got this guy. Yeah. I'll take like, this. Bang, yeah. Bang, yeah. Bang. yeah. So then they're like, like okay, so just stay in your seat and strum on that thing, then go for it. Yeah. <laughs> great. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Yeah. And really trying. I mean, I'm messing up, so. So she's doing great. Nathaniel, do you have a favorite thing to cook? I saw on your EPK that you're making, well, you were making gravy, I believe, in that. I clip, love, but. yeah. It dep- in the winter, it's like braised meat, gravy, and potatoes and onions. Okay. The summer, grilled meats and salad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, grilled great. Meat and potato salad. <laughs> and, and grilled onions. Yeah, so. and grilled onions. <laughs> What was that Ayurvedic thing you were talking about, that the m- most important thing you can eat is, like, what your mother cooked? Oh, yeah. So. The most important thing you can eat is what your mother cooked, is that what you said? The most nourishing food that you can possibly eat is the food that your mother made for you when you were a child. Okay. Is that, like, a real, like, science thing, or is it more like a... No, that's just they're the, talking the about. opinion of a really famous oh. Ayurvedic doctor. Okay, cool. He grew up on SpaghettiOs, though. Oh, this guy? On candy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. I think Joe, Joe had a lot of breakfast pizzas, cereal. Uh huh. My mom made some really mean spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. Well, I think Dang. the idea is that nothing, it's more the energetics of nothing being as nourishing. Right. All or around like the as, soul food yeah. sort of mm-hmm. aspect of it. Cool. Love. It's just about yeah. breast milk. Looking Love. for some breast milk. That makes sense. I ate a lot of cake when I was a kid. Uh, so Get I probably on it, can't. Man. That, yeah. that probably Did your doesn't mom work make that. it for you? Yeah, yeah. And my grandma eat, also. Eat cake. If you think about them when you're eating it, that is good for you. Okay, cool. I'm done with that. That's it. On I that know. note, go to your next song. <laughs> Take a mountain, a man to move me, and that'd be a long way from the way that you spoke, and you read so clearly without break of breath, a word redefining how we start on my pride and the skin and the sinking it in. Told me, wipe your brow, clean me off. Give me time to figure it out. Some songs we could sing that never mean that. Some songs leave a ring, and you hate the feel of both. And try too far to remember We 
Well, I was in love, I was here, I was three fingers in, and I was the junkyard and the bumper for the few feeling that I was the code nail and the eye on the sheets of the drenched and the soaking wet. bit and there ain't that broke all the teeth in the mouth it be the whip on the foreskin but if you had some left to spare some songs we could sing Tree Live with Nathaniel Ratliff. You guys can go ahead and go into your next song, and I will say that they're playing at Shuba's tonight at 9 p.m., so get out there and check it out if you're in the Chicago area, and just give you a chance, Nathaniel, to talk about the record if you want, just anything you would right like now. to do. Yeah, sure, or in a second, <laughs> <laughs> once you do what <laughs> you need to do. Um, the vinyl comes with a digital download. Cool. <laughs> and I believe it comes with... Uh, an additional download for uh, two night sweat songs too. Oh, sweet! If you, yeah, that's great. But there's two <laughs> night sweats downloads on the website, anyways. Okay. That are free that we put out as a 45 uh, last summer, and are going to make uh, a full length of the night sweats this summer. But who knows when that will come out? Okay. Uh, we also Patrick and I recorded an EP as a follow up to Falling Faster Than You Can Run. It's called Closer. And hopefully that'll be out in June on 10-inch vinyl and digital download is uh, what we'll have for it. So Cool. Um, Pat, what's the place with the sandwiches that you like? <coughs> oh, Portillo's? Yeah, Pat really likes sandwiches from that place. Yeah, if anyone could just anybody bring could to the venue. bring him an Italian Portillo's beef sandwich. Portillo's. An extra <laughs> Italian beef. The, you could probably get there. And a hot dog with well, only cheese on it. Well, we're in a pretty tight schedule. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you probably You know what's interesting to mention, too, if, you if it's bring a interesting to anybody, sandwich. is that <laughs> yeah. the last record we made, In Memory of Loss, we made in this studio, actually the A room. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's good to be back here in mm -hmm. this place. Well, thanks for coming back. Yeah. Does it look? It looks different though, right? Because there were lockers and things like that, or not lockers. What do I mean? There Dorms. Were, sleeping there were places. some rooms we were able to sleep in. Yeah, I don't think are there anymore. Yeah, but, um, they're not. No. Yeah, uh, yeah no. I lived here for like yeah, well, my two him. months, I think. Actually. Yeah, we seriously, Mike said it, but we seriously like need those back so that we can sleep here. And then you know, we okay. recorded up until like the twenty third of December, and left, and there happened to be this crazy blizzard from here all the way to Denver. Great. Um, we got. Yeah, it was a so it probably took you like journey. three it days us, to get there. Or something. We thought we were gonna miss Christmas. It took us like ten or twelve hours to get through uh, Nebraska. Dang! And we listened to every Radiohead record. Well, that's a throughout. Well, Nebraska. that's a cool drive. Yeah. Turns out in deadly weather, it's pretty fun stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome stuff to listen to. Well, Nebraska is a problem because it's just empty, and so you know storms just destroy that area. Yeah. Like you can't nothing to stop it. You know, void. Okay, you can go right. on your last track.
up in the morning I'm going to tear out Well I was standing looking backwards in the house She there's room enough to cramp and then we cry out friends to break us out Stop breathing all well just when found I don't know I don't know I don't know God Audio Tree Live with Nathaniel Rateliff. Did you guys listen to those Radiohead records in order? Do you remember? Yes. Cool. Sweet. That's an awesome journey. Thanks, you guys, one more time for playing for us. <laughs> and uh, we'll wrap this thing up. Thanks to Thank Emperor Cabs, to the Music Garage, to Goose Island for beer, to awesome people in the studio, sound engineers, beautiful camera and lighting people hooking it up, and viewers. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks and buy the record online and all that stuff. Send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. And from all of us here at the studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. And that's a wrap. <laughs>